just going to say, liar, liar, pants on fire, because you said that you were retiring and you are back. I never used the R word. No, I did not. <laughs> no uh -huh. driver nope. ever does. Second, I'm going to say it's so awesome to see you back on Saturdays because this is like vintage Kyle Busch, not only racing Saturdays, but the truck series as well. You already got the victory, all three this weekend. What is it like for you to sort of jump back into this role? I mean, it's really fun. It's it's a great opportunity, you know. Thanks to Matt Collig and Collig Companies, everybody at Collig Racing is um, is really you know why, opened up their doors, allowed me to come in, and, and we've talked a lot a lot about things and how to kind of go about it. Uh, we missed a few conceptual ideas here this weekend coming in with the Xfinity car for for Vegas. Um, it's a handful, but um, you know we made a lot of adjustments overnight going to the back. I wanted to make more changes, but NASCAR wouldn't let us, so um, we got what we got, and uh, we'll go give it everything we can here today. So Kyle, out of more than curiosity, I did a little digging. It's well documented, 102 Xfinity Series wins. I say with confidence that will never ever be matched. <laughs> but with the digging I did, your 37 competitors today, they have a combined total of 59 Xfinity <laughs> Series wins. Kyle, do you sometimes have to pinch yourself to know what you've accomplished? Not, not only in all of NASCAR, but in that particular series? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, it, it's a, amazing opportunities that I've had and all the wins that came from Hendrick Motorsports to JGR and, um, you know, being a part of all of that over the years and building that program, uh, you know, with Jason Radcliffe and Dave Rogers and, and all the, the fantastic people over there, they're a force to be reckoned with every week. They're going to be a, a force here today. You know, they were last week. So, um, you know, it's a, a new chapter here with working with colleague and seeing if I'm not able to help the same thing over here on this side of things and make their cars better, make them better to drive, easier to drive, faster, more longevity, all those sorts of things that, that make a good race car. They, they've they obviously shown they've had really good speed and they've had some wins over the years, but um, you know, it's to, to get them to that next level, hopefully we can achieve that here. Kyle, you obviously have more momentum than anybody else in NASCAR, being able to win the Truck Series race last night. And then also, if we go back to last week, winning the Cup Series race, but did it come as a surprise that you were able to win so early with RCR and only your second race out? Yeah, no, it certainly did. Um, you know, I, I knew they had fast cars and I knew they had really good stuff, but it's just a matter of being able to put all the pieces together to make it happen. So, um, you know, Reddick was fast in that car there last year and, and we kind of worked on around, around much of his uh, same setup stuff, but we changed it to kind of fit me. He likes to be a lot freer than, than I do. Um, and so, you know, working with all of that in the sim and then with Randall, we, we really didn't have anything to base the start of the race off of. There was no practice, but, um, you know, we made it all happen through the day. We, we made good adjustments as the race progressed. Um, I was able to move around the racetrack really well and kind of fight my way through traffic and had a fast car. So that's where it all helps. And so taking that uh, Lucas Oil Camaro to victory lane, you know, second race out on the season, <laughs> Felt really, really good. Um, wished I could have got Daytona, but uh, <laughs> you'll take them when you can get them. So glad to get one anyway. You know, every time you mention Kurt or Kyle Busch and you mention Las Vegas, you always hear the bull ring, right? That's obviously where you guys started. I know your son Brexton is racing there this weekend. I want to ask you about it, but first let's take a little look at, at you guys getting ready for the big race. <laughs> You can go wide open on the straightaways, obviously, but then just lift a little early for the corners and feel it out, you know what I mean? Eight years, he'll be 16 and he'll be eligible to race in trucks. Mm -hmm. Is there a thought of you guys maybe racing against each other? Maybe not against each other, more with each other. That would be one heck of a race right there. You could take a look at that tomorrow. Of course, Jamie Little uh, spent some time with both Brexton and Kyle. Uh, Is Kyle, that Kyle I, Bush telling that, somebody to lift the little early? <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, I've asked you before what kind of racing dad you are, but what kind of racing dad are you when you're watching your son race around the track where you started? Um, I mean, it was really cool to, to get out there to the bull ring and get him some laps in a bandolero. I never ran a bandolero out there, and so um, I really didn't know what to expect. But, you know, he just got his first start in a bandolero a couple of weeks ago. We were down in Citrus County, uh, Florida, not too far from Daytona, and he ended up winning a couple days throughout that week. There was a five-day event. And so we're coming out here, and out in, in Florida, he ran against kids his age group, you know, beginner bandits, whatever, the class. He was in his own class. Here, they throw everybody together. And we were only expecting maybe 10 or 15 cars, so they're just going to put them all together. So he's going to be racing against 14-year-olds, 15-year-olds, oh whatever it might be. So, And he's only seven. So uh, I got him ripping, though. He was going pretty fast. So I, I started him too loose. I had to make sure I got him tightened up, <laughs> snugged up, and, you know, get him on that right front like a bush likes to be. I love it. I love it. So there's a 
a chance for four <laughs> trophies, four checkered flags this weekend so good. Uh, for Kyle and Brexton. You, you're awesome. Good luck today. Good luck getting the sweep this weekend. And, and wish yeah. Brexton all the best from, uh, from us. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Look forward to